Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So... I'm going to do a mini reading this week, Libra, because it's just been a bit crazy for me <laughs> in between Christmas and New Year. But nevertheless, if it's meant to resonate for you, it still will. It won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So I'm going to pull three cards. First card is your issue or challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we'll pull a final oracle card. Okay, so what do we have for Libra, please, for the week? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans, thank you. Thank you, that flew out. So your challenge, we have the Eight of Wands. The Seven of Wands is your advice from spirit and <laughs> the outcome we have the star oh my goodness that's so beautiful so bottom of the deck libra because i have looked we have the seven of pentacles so There's a kind of feeling with this in the challenge position. I mean, the Eight of Wands can sometimes be in news, um, shifts, uh, required shifts, movement, positive shifts. Um, it can be to do with, sometimes for me, it can be a, a conversation leads to something solid. Um, it can be opportunity, distance as well. So it can be distance opportunities, online opportunities, online connections, whatever, you know, whatever resonates for you. But because it's in your challenge position, because it's a movement energy, it feels like there's a lack of movement. There could have been delays to do with an opportunity or a lack of movement that you've been experiencing, Libra. And I'm definitely getting that energy here. Because the Seven of Wands is it's a card of challenge, but it's somebody who is standing with resolve to overcome the challenge they face, even though it seems overwhelming. I mean, this is six ones against one, isn't it, you know? Um, and they're on this cliff edge, you know? But they're standing resolute. They are fighting their corner. They're in their power. And by doing that, they are getting on higher ground. They are getting on top of a situation, something that seemed overwhelming. It definitely feels for some of you you are getting on top of it, whether you know it or not. Now, this can sometimes be being pitted against people. So can be in competitive situations as well, where you're competing for something and there's delays. Something doesn't seem to be happening. Feels a bit overwhelming or it could be a situation that feels overwhelming. Either way, Libra, the message is stay in your power stay resolved, persevere, because you will overcome the challenge that you face. This is somebody who's not backing down. This is somebody who will absolutely see something through and overcome anything that, you know, they're up against. So it definitely feels, I mean, the, the ones is growth energy. There is still growth in this situation. It just requires perseverance, determination. I'm going to go to this one, which is the bottom of the deck, because it's another seven. Now, seven as a number is a real kind of like divine master number. So do look it up because there's some really good explanations online. But it is a card of your being watched over, guided by spirit. Um, seven of Pentacles is, again, another energy of perseverance. Somebody has been working so hard. I mean, it feels like, you know, there's a lot of energy and action that you've been putting into something. It could be, like I said, connections, online, networking, communication, conversations, but it's not, the, the shift isn't happening. The shift isn't happening right now. And the Seven of Pentacles is a great card of good things come to those that are patient, but it's the patience that is frustrating here because this is a testing energy. 
It feels like your metal has been tested in a situation. I mean, pentacles can be money in Korea. Um, can also be in your health areas as well, or could be even be in relationships. But there's definitely an energy here, Libra, of um, persevere, keep going, keep working on what you're doing, because you are going to get the reward. It's just a period of being tested where there may have been delays, challenges, but nevertheless, there is still growth opportunities here. So it definitely feels for some of you that you're being told you're on the right path. And that's what the star is telling you. Don't give up now. It is a card of, these are cards of seeing something through. You may have encountered delays or the shift or the news or things not happening as quickly as you wanted them to. But the message, there are reasons to be hopeful and optimistic with the star. Because this is the Divine Wish Fulfillment card. This is a card of blessings from the universe. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a card of Aquarius. And there's a great energy here, Libra, of you are absolutely going in the right direction. You are exactly where you need to be. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. This is an absolute time for you to be hopeful because you are going to be given blessings from the universe. And you're being told as this celestial being walks on water to believe in miracles because you are absolutely being guided. So this is a sense of renewal and also as the water pours onto the earth, new growth. There is growth in this situation. There is hope in this situation. And you'll soon realise what that means. So absolutely kind of message of there is a message of persevere you are on the right path and it's leading to something wonderful such hope growth optimism with this card and um, very very beautiful energy and then energy of being wa watched over you're given being given blessings uh divine wish fulfillment so very very beautiful indeed you will come through the other side of this so I'm going to pull a final card and see what we get for you, Libra. Final message for Libra, please, angels, spirits, guides. Final message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I love this because it's so you. You are all about balance and we have the panda balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. It feels like balance is going to be restored. You're going to get the equilibrium back. It feels like a bit of a challenge, but things will even out. You know, it definitely feels for some of you, there's real hope in this card for that reason. So I love the energy here, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a happy new year and I will see you next time. Thank you.